Portions of this podcast are made possible through generous donations from patrons like at Lonely Bob and Big Al V. If you aren't a patron yet and still want to help, you can like, comment, or subscribe and help the podcast grow. Welcome to the Vices in Caramel 30 Minutes to Kill podcast. A monster calls. We're not supposed to be talking about it. <laughs> no, we're not. This might have to go into the vault. I'm really surprised you're whipping out a recording device. You're always surprised when I whip it out. Yeah, well, especially at a movie where we just signed something saying that, like, mum's the word, and we wouldn't wouldn't talk about it because they will find us. He did say they will find us a couple of times. Yeah, so you're going to have to hold this probably until the movie comes I'm out. I'm probably going to have to hold it a little Okay, while. well, now I'm going to say today is... February 25th, 2016. Not when this airs, but... No, uh, that's the date today. Yeah. So, a monster calls that sounds promising, but uh, not really a horror movie. Oh my gosh, movie. he was like a giant Groot. <laughs> yeah. I was going to make comments like that, but it was so entertaining I didn't want to talk during it. Yeah. Uh, plus, this is one of those few times where nobody had a cell phone. Or if they did, they were smart enough not to pull it out in the middle of that because they boot you out of the theater. Yes. Yeah. So this is a movie preview that, uh, well, it's an unreleased movie. And is this it's a been... movie review we're doing? Yeah. Why the heck not? But it's not a horror movie. Yeah, but you know what? We mentioned some time ago that we do new and old and unreleased movies, so... Yes, this but is horror, sci-fi, and uh, thrillers. Psychological or thrillers too. Yeah. Yeah. But, Were you uh, psychologically thrilled? I, I was. I really enjoyed this. <laughs> okay. Exit to Sepulveda Boulevard or Ventura. I'm going to exit on Ventura. Okay. All right. So we are. Well, we're well out of our element. We're in the valley. Yes, we are. Yeah. We're I, in Sherman Oaks. That's where Valley Girl <laughs> took place. For those of you that uh, <laughs> caught that movie in the 80s. Yes, or since then. Like, totally. Like, totally. Uh, speaking of which, Sherman Oaks was also a TV show on... Uh, it was Cinemax or maybe it was HBO. It was kind of a short half hour... It was called Sherman Oaks? It was called Sherman Oaks. took place out here. Oh. It was about a... Uh, doctor and his mistress and his right-wing son and uh i almost want to say like family guy sort of like a family guy thing or whatever let's go ahead all right so uh i guess you weren't telling me to go ahead no i was not telling i'm talking about the people that are pulling out of the parking structure um so at any rate the movie what did you think about the movie it was darn good. It was uh, great. I love the visual effects. We were talking about whether or not this was one to recommend. And uh, it's... Uh, well, and we have to stop, though, and say... You just said you loved the visual effects. Well, um, the movie that we we just saw it today, it's incomplete. It's a work in progress. So, can you imagine when it's finished? I, I can't imagine what else. I think they just put that... Uh, I just think they put that stamp on it, so people would uh wouldn't be bummed if something was missing but i think well, that's a completely they, photo, they photo warned movie. us that anything could be off the color could be off the sound could be off any of the visual effects could like if you see something glitch or look weird that's not how it's going to look in the theater obviously they're they're still working on all of that i didn't see any of that did you um there was a couple of strange edits for me okay um when all of a sudden the the boy and his dad were outside talking, I was like, "Wait, what?" Okay, it's a, it's maybe just, a couple. Just of jokes. A, but I mean, they're not done yet. They they so I, I heard them talking. They didn't announce it to the audience. They decided they weren't going to tell everybody. But here I am telling you. Um, they said it was seventy percent finished. Okay, well, so I, it's got more. Maybe they've got a couple scene little bits to put back in or. 
felt felt like a finished film to me. But here, here we've talked about all this. We haven't done we've, we've done a synopsis by now. Yes, but, I've um, already read it. I'm sure. I'm sure you have. They'll um, be reading it in the future. Yes, because this is only February twenty second, twenty fifth, twenty fifth. Yes. Um. Twenty second. Yeah, what the heck? You're going back in time. Oh, that was the day I had a dentist appointment. <laughs> so the 22nd stuck in my head. Well, um, so you're never going to one of these again? I hate movie previews. <laughs> the lines, the crowds, the padding down. The padding the, down. I'm going to search through your bag. Do you searches. have anything you shouldn't be bringing it? Yeah, I don't. I hate that. I'm not a people person anyway. I don't like crowds and I don't. I don't like it. Hmm. Um, we were mostly doing to see this to uh, to hang out with little Brian too. Yes, we were gonna hang out with Brian tonight. Yeah. That was my main motivation for coming out. Yeah. And sadly, he didn't make it. Yeah. So. So we're still talking about everything but the movie. Indeed. Was there anything you had to say about the movie aside from that you thought it was excellent? Yes. Well, we were gonna narrow down like who we would recommend it to. Um, it is heavily story driven. It is a mood piece. There's lots of animation in it. Lots of animated. Yeah, you want to explain that? Um, a boy dealing with uh, his mother's sickness and the a tree <laughs> comes to life. Yes. <laughs> to uh, to share stories with him, and he thinks that's just a ridiculous idea. And why on earth would uh, or how would stories help? Yeah. Um, the tree tells him that you're going to tell. I'm going to tell you three stories, and you're going to tell me the fourth story. And this was a book, so anyone who's read the books is listening to us, and we probably sound dumb, like we don't know what we're talking about. Because we But did. you know what? We're dumb, and we don't really know what we're talking about. <laughs> there is that. So I wasn't aware that there was a book, uh-huh. and I'm interested in searching it out now. I think okay. I would listen to it. I don't know if I would read it. Right. But I would listen to it. Yeah, sure. I'm sure it has a lot more to offer. I mean, that's an ongoing problem, of course, with books and movies. But Did it make you think of any other books? Or movies, rather? It, uh, it fits into that category of a movie I think you need to watch once. Um, and probably don't necessarily need to see again. Like Big Fish. Okay, that's interesting. Um, well, but you thought it was excellent. I did. It's excellent, yeah. but you wouldn't want to watch it again. Well, I, yeah. You're I not mean, hopping up and down to see it again. Yeah, because... Um, well, okay, well then, let's... You were just saying who you'd recommend it to and whatnot. Yeah, um, I put 30s to 40s because I actually checked that box off on who to... Who to it's, hold this, please. Yes. Are you going to have to talk to this girl? Or? I don't know. We'll see. I can always edit it out if I have to. <laughs> I mean, we, we're paid up, so she should we're just paid, so she should take just the car. Take go. She'll take the car? I mean, the okay. card. The card. Card, not the car. Oop. We will find out. Thank you. Thank you. It's not going to come down on top of our car, uh, is it? Quick. <laughs> okay, <be> so, <laughs> yeah. So, it was a slow movie um it looks like one to take the kids to i would not recommend it i think they'd be bored out of their minds it's very much um i guess well the the target well they it was between 18 and 50 or something but so i think even the movie the the ones that did the movie know that an older audience would get more out of it or get the story or understand or um yeah yeah um uh, it's, I, it's it's one of the other reasons why we were able to go to this we fit in the age group this time oh my gosh i know we're fine because usually movie previews are like you know 18 to 32 or 18 to 34 yeah and it's like man we were going to them until we were about 38 or almost 40 and then it was like then we had to start lying about our age then our hair started getting gray and we're like dang it yeah i'm 32 i don't know but yes this one allowed up to like 50 something yeah 58, I think. I think so. <laughs> Why is that the cutoff? So if you're know. over 58, you probably won't enjoy it. No. <laughs> um, but no, so yeah, if you like that, and you mentioned Big Fish, that's interesting because yes, kind of, it sort of has that feel. It has that fantasy element as well as yeah. uh, a real life 
sad story. I mean, it's... It's, uh, yeah. I, know. we may as well say if, like, if sad movies make you grab the, teen, the Kleenex, I mean, that's one of those movies. So, there was a lot of people crying at the end. A lot of sniffling throughout the audience. Yes, because the boy, um, he's just a young boy. Um, About 11, maybe? Yeah, maybe. They didn't say his age. They said he was too old to be a kid and too young to be a man, yeah. just stuck in that awkward middle point. And it's just he and his mom, and she's dying of cancer. So, anyone who's dealt with that, I mean, that's going to be an automatic... Um, sensitive point right yeah. there. Well, there's a lot of subjects um, being raised by an older person that's not your mother. Yeah. Um, you know, that obviously pulled on my uh, heartstrings a little bit. Um, not a little bit, a lot. You know, there were a lot of different points. Having to see anybody in your family suffer through sickness and stuff. So there's a lot of built-in tearjerker things, but yeah. there's also a good story and uh, something to learn there. I appreciated the fact that they kept it kept being reinforced that stories uh, are powerful or can be powerful. Yes. Or you know what I mean. There's there's more to it, and it's uh, yeah. well, it's not. It's what you believe, you know. So right. Yeah. So you'd recommend it? I'd recommend it. I'd recommend it to an older audience. I put that it was for guys and guys and gals. Uh, men and women. You maybe said more for women. I think I did lean it that direction. Yeah. I was just... I, I'm thinking open-minded guys. I'm thinking guys that are secure with their feelings, you know. <laughs> can cry in public. And, well, it, the you know. question was, is it mostly for women or mostly for, you know, both? Right. I don't know. Mostly no. is kind of, yeah, you know. Yeah, I think it is going to have a hard time finding its audience. It's going to be an well, independent film. That's type. what I was thinking. It's, I was not sure when we when it first started. And I thought, okay, yeah, oh, this, it looks lovely. I love the scenery. Oh, beautiful scenery. The atmosphere. We're in England. It's wonderful. I think we were in England. Um, yeah. And, um... As it progressed, uh, it as it did. kept that, yeah, I was like, okay, it's not really like kids wouldn't really enjoy this. And though there's beautiful animation, wonderful artwork that's throughout, right. but but yeah, and I kept thinking, okay, there's people that I could not recommend this to because they'd be bored, silly. Mm -hmm. um, you have to really enjoy that slow storytelling. I you know, <laughs> lots of scenes with not a lot happening. It's more about the the mood. Yes. Well, this traffic is terrible. I'm just going to... We're not... We're sitting here. We're on the 405 parking lot. Yeah. Um, it's like... That one's even going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? I think he just slipped out of gear. <laughs> oh, he's going backwards again. Maybe he's bored. We um, haven't moved in ages. We've just been sitting here. <laughs> Welcome to um, Los Angeles. The other movie would be, of course, uh, Where the Wild Things Are. Yes. Definitely that. Yes. Though, this, though that, I would say, more kid-friendly than this one, perhaps. You know what? Everybody who took their kids to see it came back saying their kids hated it and they were bored silly. Same thing. I think it's that... I'm glad you mentioned Where the Wild Things Are. Yeah. Because, yes, that is a great example of what it is the feel and, and that's why i think it's for an older thing could be an older group i remember when uh well i talked to some of the guys from porophilia about that when it came out and some of them just didn't get it just thought it was completely stupid and whatever right but there was an attachment having read it myself as a child and i think i've talked about that back then that wow. it's like being growing up and how i was so drawn to and repelled by those images and stuff. And <laughs> by the wild things? By the wild things and stuff. It kept freaking me out. Are you just, upset when I wear my t-shirt? A little bit. Because I don't <laughs> like those feet. I don't like those big feet on the Oh, creature. they're the best. But anyhow. Oh my gosh. But yeah, like I said, I was drawn to it though. I checked it out of the library numerous times and whatever. So it's You like, couldn't look away. I couldn't. It was just that kind of dark material that still sucked me in. Yes. Well, um, so that's, I think that's a great example though. I think if... I think that will be a, a pre-question before 
telling people yeah. whether or not they should. What did you think of the what the yeah. are, and then you should see this or not? Yes, I think so too. And I think and, again, and it's another.